Ever since day one, Jason Crutchfield has been training Clarissa Shields to become someone special. Probably, probably first year, eight months, we, we never even really spoke to each other. Yeah, Clarissa didn't really feel the same way. As a matter of fact, she wasn't really fond of her trainer at all. We go to the box match, he drives us there, I wouldn't say a word, he drives back, still won't say nothing. The only thing that I answered to was if I was hungry. She admits now she had some anger issues that stopped her from embracing her future Olympic coach. It was after your box. What? Thankfully, Crutchfield took notice. I say something, I holler, I fuss at her, and she'll holler back, you know, and things like that, you know, and I just kind of explain to her, you know, no matter what somebody says, you don't go out of line. And then he just taught me to, to keep my manners, and uh, we, rarely get in, we rarely get into it now. He was as far as one. We were watching. Shield says he's become more than just a trainer, but a father figure. Is that the most you? Crutchfield is just happy he got to her before the streets of Flint did. I'm very thankful because I've seen a lot, you know, and I just kind of grabbed her and told her that we're not going that way. Smoking and drinking, going out partying. I easily could have did it. I really could, but um, I just took a different route. The route to London, fighting for the United States. And at Burston Fieldhouse, a gym that has seen some of the best fighters in the country, Crutchfield says Shields belongs at the top of the list. That, that makes me feel real proud that I could train somebody that can make it to the Olympics and do well in the Olympics. Shields credits her faith in God for bringing her to Crutchfield and in turn forming a medal winning combination. It's like this is one side of the picture and this is the other. Gold, gold, damn. Earl Arms, NBC 25 Ozone.